Greetings Earthlings, it's Broccoli Tom. Today I want to show you guys the spells, abilities, and flight of the Golden Manticore mount. Uh, in Archage Unchained, this mount was just added to the Diligence Shop. It's available for 400 coins. Um, I picked it up just yesterday. A lot of people went for the Frost Dragon, and I thought that this one had some better PvP abilities. And I like to be different, so we went with that. Um, first, I'll show you one of its main abilities on ground, um, which is Wing Boost. It's either a 30 meter leap when you're on the ground or three seconds invincibility while airborne. That's a 25 second cooldown. There's that leap for you. Its other ability is run, 30 second cooldown. Increases pet move speed by 50% for 10 seconds while on the ground or 30% while airborne. We have a melee attack overrun, which is kind of like a leap, just like on the gallant cat. It doesn't stun but it does instant 2.4k physical damage, decreases move speed 30% for 3 seconds, and then inflicts another 2k damage over 14 seconds in the form of a bleed. And it does apply a bleed, so if you're playing Dark Runner or something like that, this is, this is really going to set you up for good combos and things like that. Um, next ability is the Glide, which is a 1 minute cooldown. It's 5 minute glide time, just like most other flying mounts. Um, can't be used while under the effects of Roar of the Pride, which is that, um, which is when we're getting to. We saw the leap, and then Roar of the Pride is a one-minute cooldown, um, decreases received damage by seven percent for all raid members and their mounts within fifteen minute, fifteen meters. Excuse me, lasts seven seconds and also can't be used while airborne. So those are the main abilities for it. I'll show you guys the overrun once we get to the ground, but I want to show you the flight real quick. And we'll pop run here to get that max glide speed. This is kind of what you're looking at for max glide speed on this mount. Without armor. I'm not really sure where to get the armor for this uh, mount yet. I did notice that the Armageddon armor from the Diligence store was not equipable. So um, I thought that was rather interesting. Even though the mount doesn't specifically say in the shop that it has armor restrictions, it does. Um, guessing you need some pretty particular Manticore armor. But I'll take this thing down to the ground and show you guys that uh, overrun ability before we wrap up the video. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a subscribe and click that little bell and click all if you want to get all of my updates on newest videos. I'm going to be posting a lot more updates about different things in Arc Age Unchained uh, going forward, as well as a full length review for the game. So. Thanks again for coming by. Please don't forget to show that love. Here's that 50% run on the ground, which is real nice. That makes it top out at 17.3 meters per second on the ground without armor. Pretty good, pretty fast. It has 11.5 meters per second base move speed. I forgot to mention that. Has a threshold of 24K health. 9.7k mana and it looks like you can continue to level it up to 55 um, yeah it has an even melee range and magic attack pretty low healing power and a base stat of 206 across all main stats um, equal physical and magic defense and 35 health regen 29 mana regen anyway let's find something we can jump on and I'll show you guys the, uh, the overrun spell I know there's got to be some kind of mob down here. Very, very fun. Uh, very fun mount. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I kind of could have done without the horns coming out of its face. <laughs> I would have been okay with it just being a regular, like, Manticore-style lion. But, you know, whatever. All right. Let's see how this overrun performs on these mobs. It's probably going to spank them. Um, but here it is. Got that slow on him. It didn't seem to inflict the bleed. I wonder if it missed or if it's bugged. This is why we test these things out. I'll wait one more for the cooldown. Huh, interesting. It seems to be doing the forward bite, but it does not seem to be applying the bleed. 
So I'll be sure to add that in a ticket to Gamigo to hopefully get fixed because that doesn't sound correct. You want that bleed to apply. Looks like three three attacks there and the bleed didn't apply. So very interesting. Anyways, again, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, uh, like the video. And if you want to get more uploads, click the bell. Make sure that you're getting all the uploads. Um, something I didn't know about when I was watching YouTube creators was that you have to click the bell to get notified of all that stuff. So once again, I'm Broccoli Tom. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you guys next time.